Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections. I'm Emily Reeves. And I am Amy Hester. I am ready for a drink, are you? <laughs> totally ready for a drink. Um, you made the drink tonight. What are we having? I made this, and I went home last night, and I made it ahead of time because we're making sangria. Mm-hmm. 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 And I've never made it in my entire life. And almost, I was like, if Emily was here, she would probably tell me to set up and record me making it. <laughs> but I went home, took my bra off, oh put my, God. my, put uh, my yeah. quitters on, and I was like, I'm not recording myself. Like this. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't know that I've ever had sangria. Okay. Because, you know, like, I'm not, like, a huge fruit consumer. Right. And so I never really choose sangria. So I'm well, excited Well, there's a little bit try. more prep work involved mm-hmm. to just say, hey, I'm going to have sangria. Yeah. So I found a pretty easy recipe online, and I will have to look and see where it was, and we'll share it. But it consists of a Spanish wine. Mm-hmm. I don't know the name, and I didn't, had never heard of it. I went to... Yancey's. Okay. And I was like, where's your Spanish wines? <laughs> and um, I don't think they had any. Of course. <laughs> but we got the next country closest. All right. Close so, enough. Yeah. A dry, I think it was just yeah. supposed to be dry. Just dry. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it has brandy in it. Instead, we use Cabossier. So and cognac and cognac, brandy are the same brandy, thing. Just same depends thing. on yes. where it's made. Um, it's made um, from grapes. Mm-hmm. And um, then we have apple, mm-hmm. orange, and orange juice. Simply orange juice is what we did. So, and sugar. Okay. We did cane sugar. And we're going to serve so, it over ice. We'll serve it over ice. It looks um, kind of thick, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> kind of nervous. It's like this is the goblet. From, <laughs> um, these are the fun, our fun little glasses that we have four people tonight. Holy hell. Right. A so first. I know, so we're all going to squeeze around here, and we are going to talk to the ladies who are founding and launching The Nest, a new um, co-working and social uh, space for women here in Little Rock. Yeah. And so we're going to talk to Natalie and Erin. And we've actually had them both separately, separately on the show. about their individual businesses. Yeah. Um, so I am, ex- I am excited to visit with them. I so too. Do we need to try this? We have to try it because I'm a little nervous before we serve it to somebody. What do you think? I don't know if, it's, if it tastes like sangria because I've never had sangria. I don't know. I mean, it tastes good. I think tastes it's like, okay. Tastes like uh, fruit juice. As long juice. as there's ice. <laughs> as long as it's cold enough. Yeah. As long as it's yeah. cold enough. Tastes like fruit juice. Yeah. It'll work. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. So good. Okay, guys. Well, um, Welcome, because y'all, we've had both of these people on separately <laughs> right. before, now in yeah. person, and you two have teamed up and have the coolest new idea in Little Rock called The Nest. Yes. And please introduce yourselves, and I want to hear the address. and like, Give us the, yeah, the, the, the elevator pitch on The Nest, and then yeah. we'll have a ton of questions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Natalie, I feel like you're so good with the elevator pitch. Well, <laughs> no. So, okay, uh, so Natalie Gadotti. I'm Erin Hunball. Yep. Um, so I'll, I'll start with what the nest is, and then I'll kind of tell you, like, how Erin and I came, came okay. to it. But it's Little Rock's first um, co-working and uh, community social place for women, by women is what yeah, we say. For women, yeah. by women. And, you know, we you, you guys know Little Rock has some other co-working spaces, yeah. but this is... Um, and it's it's definitely two things. It's a co-working space. So you can come and enjoy the beautiful space that mm-hmm. it's going to be and totally for women and decorate in that way and all, yeah. all the things. But it's also building a community and building a community of women. And you guys know, because you're involved in all this stuff mm-hmm. as, as we are, there's amazing groups of women doing different things all, all throughout yeah. the city. But we kind of felt like there was a... A, a missing spot, truly like a physical space, yeah. where these women could come and connect and network and, and bond and just learn from each other. And like I said, it's happening in different pockets. Yeah. Um, but I felt if there was a, we felt, both of us felt this way, if there was a physical space where mm-hmm. all that could happen and we could help foster that and and and, and grow it, that yeah. that would be amazing for Little Rock and amazing yeah. for our community. So. I'll let you, Erin, kind of talk about like how we came to this together because 
um, you know, I knew of Erin and she knew of me, mm-hmm. and we knew we definitely knew each yeah. other. But we first started talking when on my podcast, uh, on the yeah. Ganada podcast, yeah. is when we first because I brought Erin on as like a women business owner mm-hmm. and starting the Power yeah. Players uh, group. And then that's where we first started started talking about it, and you can yeah. You can so take it away from there. <laughs> Amy, you know about Power Play? Yes, yes, um, yes. Women's community group that um, Raymond and a dear friend of mine, Kristen Daniel, and I got together. This was back in 2017, 2018, and we're like, we need to have a space for women to talk about big ideas and subjects that maybe aren't being spoken about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you have career groups, and you have you know, if you want to build a business, you can go to UALR and learn how to build yeah. a business, but let's talk about all the different pieces and components of just being a woman and trying to do all the things, whether you want to start a business or maybe you're learning to navigate motherhood and trying to climb the corporate ladder. I mean, those are some really hard conversations to have. Mm -hmm. So we launched power players with the intent of just building community, a community of women to talk about all different life subjects. Mm -hmm. And it just took off. Like it was really astounding and it was completely free our events were 100 yeah. percent free but we had hundreds of women showing up to these events natalie has me on our podcast we you know talk and hit it off because we have so many mutual friends mm-hmm. flash forward natalie and i are two years later mm-hmm. in the same ceo group and we are the mm-hmm. only two women so what? out of like 20 yeah. ceos we're the only mm-hmm. two women yeah disclaimer the men it's been that way for for a long two time two years yeah like, mm-hmm. however long wow. yeah. yeah so of course we're just we love the guys we love the guys, the guys. <laughs> i was like disclaimer the guys are amazing <laughs> they, are. Like, they are so supportive and we love them but it, there is something different and they acknowledge that too mm-hmm. sure, about yeah. being a female in this space yeah um so when natalie and i've been in this group together she knew about power players had interviewed me about it and she had interviewed someone who had a women's co-working space, yeah. a little different than what we're yeah. doing, but in, know, Bittenville. in Bittenville, okay. in Northwest mm-hmm. Arkansas. So, mm-hmm. you know, I was like, God, I feel like we need, like women need a space here. And mm-hmm. Natalie was like, Erin, I have been thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> so voila, the nest yeah, happens. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flash forward, uh, the pandemic has broken out. I'm like, 35 weeks pregnant, <laughs> trying to with keep a retail first. business afloat, <laughs> like with my first child. It seems like a good time to start a new project. Right. Yeah. And Natalie's <laughs> like, hilarious. let's go have like a drink or mocktail. You can have me. a mocktail. Well, yeah. I'll have a drink. I'm going to have a drink. And she's like, let's go to Hill Station. I'm literally wearing flip flops because my feet are so big. Like they're just so swollen. <laughs> and I'm like waddling everywhere. I mean, I remember waddling across the street yes. to meet you. Yes. And we sit down and Natalie is like, so. I mean, I know that you're literally going to pop this baby out in, like, two <laughs> But weeks. are you serious about what we're talking about? But you know, I like to multitask. Yeah, she's, <laughs> like, so, she's like, but, like, I really think we need to do this. Like, we need to we need to make this happen. Yeah. And I was like. I'm sorry you're pregnant, but we need to do this. Literally? She's like, I know you're going to pop this baby out in like, house and let's call yeah, it. Yeah, and she's like, so totally. I think we got to do it. And yeah. I was like, crazy me. is like, great, let's do it. Sign me up. And. We just got and we the did. ball rolling. We, we, we did it. We there. did it, and so it's it's, it's unbelievable, kind of. Yeah. Well, you're both doers. I mean, there's a lot of people that will talk about things, but yeah. they won't yeah. actually do it. Oh yeah. So you talked about there's a, a, a women's co-working space in Bentonville. Are there yeah. other spaces or organizations that you were inspired by, and yeah. like what are yeah. you going to do that are similar or different? So or? yeah, that that's really interesting because so there was one in mm-hmm. Bentonville. It's closed now. Okay. Um, but mm-hmm. it was only open a year, but it was really successful that year. It was open. And and then we started um, digging around and like looking at uh, mm-hmm. similar groups. So the wing is one that yeah. everybody yeah. kind of knows of. Um, like so in we, New York or something? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's New yes. York and it was the first of its kind yeah. type mm-hmm. thing. And so it's now become like a campaign stop for all politicians. Definitely. Oh, yeah. It is like, yes. it's it's oh, known yes. in its own yeah. right, right? Okay. Like that's, that's a whole thing about that. So of course we knew about that. But then there, there are more and more of these popping up and just like, Albuquerque and Kansas City and mm-hmm. things like that. So we talked to a woman who was starting one in Kansas City. But it was it was interesting because all of them have a different take mm-hmm. and it is dependent on their community. It's dependent right. on them as business owners yeah. and what they want to do with it. And I mean, you know, again, there's risk in opening a business. Sure. So there, you can tell these different women took different risks like some mm-hmm. of them were like okay we're all in others are like well I'm just kind of piecemealing it and trying to put this network together yeah. and then doing this so we we had a lot of different models yeah. to look at and then we had to decide for ourselves like what what are we okay with and what yeah. do we want to do and 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 
but here's the thing. I mean, Aaron and I are both this personalities. We're not going to do anything half that. Sure, <laughs> sure. No, so, like, no. we're just not. And so, um, but but also, we're we're smart. Um, yeah. I think we're smart so at we how we're doing budget. things. We have, we a, have budget. a budget. We know. <laughs> like, we have our accountant who's yeah. like, so did y'all take things. on investors or y'all? Okay, so that was, is us. we are firm okay. believers that cash is queen, uh -huh. first of all, not king. Cash is queen at the nest. I like and, it. <laughs> and no, um, that is one thing about the nest. This is not backed by a man. This is backed by Natalie and I. Yeah, Like that's two good. business owners who yep. we believe in it. You put your own money, money in it. Yeah. yeah, it's our own money. Yeah, it's that's our own money. So. And if I ask you a question that you don't want to answer, that is totally okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. As well. like, and that's here's the thing. That's yeah, another conversation good, we had today about um, the shyness around money with women. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing we want to talk about at the yeah. nest is because men sit around and talk about these things all the time. And yeah. um, if Natalie or I did take on an, an investor, um, there would be no shame around that too. That's part of the business. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel, I feel like the, the knowledge and, um, from other business owners and other women and just it seems safer and easier to approach a woman and ask advice for a business um, question yeah. or some model or whatever than asking, going to ask a man. Absolutely. I mean, Sorry, man. But, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it just seems... You don't seems... want to be mansplained? No. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it does. Is. Like, it's a you thing. Feel yeah. like, thing. You feel a little bit more comfortable asking yeah. these questions yeah. because they're going to probably tell you, even if you ask the same question, the same type of person, you're going to get a more honest answer mm -hmm. from a woman. It's and true. the pros and cons than the one-sentence answer probably from a man. You know what totally. I mean? I'm totally. <laughs> totally. And I think, I think to... The reality of our world is is that women are dealt with differently than men. Period. That's yeah. just that's the reality. And even when they don't mean to, I think that there is some what is it unconscious bias? Mm, I yeah. guess that happens. And when you hear about a business ownership or whatever you're trying to do, creative endeavor, but when you hear about it from real life experience from someone who has lived that, yeah, I think coming from a woman they are much more likely to be able to give you that yeah. solid advice because they have truly walked in your shoes. Yeah. They have been there. I mean, I always w will tell somebody, I'm like, if I make a mistake or, um, like, I would be happy to say, don't do that or, you know, don't call that. I mean, you know, it's just like, Absolutely. to me, I feel like yeah. word of mouth of anything and experience from things is the best learning of, I mean, which is what we want to have yeah. at the nest. Like mm -hmm. what you're saying is exactly, yeah. because you're right. Like I think women are, are, they want to help each other yeah. and they want to share their experiences and we want it to be a place where people just naturally have those conversations mm -hmm. and people feel comfortable having yeah. them, yeah. you know? I mean, even when you, we've all been there, I mean, even when you go to a networking event and maybe it's all women or you go to a women's leadership thing or whatever, I mean, it's still, um, y you are sharing, but it's it's kind of, there's a little bit of forced things to that, yeah. to that model, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and this, we, we truly just want to be where you pop in, you feel very comfortable with the people there because they're all kind of in the same mindset of wanting to learn from each other. And you can sit down on a comfy couch and just be like, well, now what are you doing? Who are you? What, you know, that. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about your members because yeah. did you, before you like, you know, pulled the trigger and said, we're doing this, did you guys go out and talk to women in the community and say, okay, we've got enough people that would agree to be members and we've, you know, tested our pricing with them and we've tested this concept and they said, we're going to do it. Are you going on like, thank you, know it's great. And I, I say this from like a startup. Oh, yeah. 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 I think it's a mix. Yeah. I think it's a mix. We did have, um, we had an yeah. actual focus group that was mm -hmm. not an in-person focus group. It was actually one-on-one -on -one interviews mm -hmm. that were totally anonymous. So it wasn't yeah. done by Natalie or I. It was done by a third party, <laughs> woman-owned business. She yeah. was okay. actually a founding member of the uh -huh. Nest. Mm -hmm. um, but she did um, some focus group work for us yeah. without saying what the Nest was or mm -hmm. who owned it. So it felt very authentic mm -hmm. yeah. say. Um, yeah. we got we pulled a lot of ideas and we did different from that. ages ranges uh, ages races phases of life uh -huh. in that group so it was, we got some really great Good. feedback on that did. and we yeah. did talk about she, so Stacy asked them a lot of different questions pricing was in there mm -hmm. um, what kind of memberships I mean so we had that then of course we're just naturally pulling sure. some of our closer sure. friends and oh, people that we trust yeah. to give us good feedback um, 
But then to your point, Emily, mm-hmm. I mean, that, then part of it's just like, we know it's right. Hope and pray. And, yeah. and yeah. like, um, well, but, but, it, but we do feel change. a gut of, yeah. you know, I mean, I'm it's sure the right thing to do. Right. right. Like when you open a business, you oh, set something girl, to be yes. a certain way and it's not going to be. I mean, you know, the people who pay are going to be the ones that tell evolve. you kind of what's going to. That's exactly. Yeah. They already happened. are, which oh, yeah. is awesome. That's, yeah. like, that's what we want. That's yeah. happened from the minute we we announced this. Like, yeah. we are hearing daily feedback about what they want, what mm-hmm. they don't like, what give us more of this. Like, it's been awesome. I spent an hour with one of our founding members mm-hmm. um, a couple weeks ago, and mm-hmm. she was like, "Hey, I want to know like." What kind of programming are you signing yeah. up to hear? Like, what what are the features that actually you are planning on using consistently? And like, what, what are you most excited about, and what are we missing? Right. Yeah. What are we so missing? So, what ha- what do you guys have in store for that? I mean, you already have a stuff lot. like okay set because I know you just behind the scenes said that you're having some furniture. Oh yes, yes, yes. We're having some furniture. <laughs> so delays. is that like <laughs> yes? That, is that mess up your schedule <laughs> as far as like programming? So. Thank you, COVID. No, no, because we have not had, we yeah. don't have anything like, oh my gosh, a date on the okay, books like this is happening. Yeah. We have had so many meetings with people and we mm-hmm. have like, hey, like for example, ClickCycle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have a partnership with ClickCycle also with Pure Bar mm-hmm. where they are going to be offering a free class to our members minimum once a month, probably okay. more than that. We're also working with a couple other gyms. We don't have it solidified yet. Uh, Starfits uh, right there. Well, exactly, exactly. exactly. That's right, uh, no, yeah. but they're fabulous. Uh-huh. Yes, um, and so I've got a couple other. I've got a couple other actually good friends that own gyms who mm-hmm. we have meetings on the books to discuss this. So those are some partnerships yeah. that are solidified that mm-hmm. I know I can mention. Um, but we have some other programming yeah, ideas I mean, that I've talked don't to have to do with wellness that are all about business yeah. leadership. Mm-hmm. Even I mean, even as simple as like fun member mixers and yeah. happy hours mm-hmm. um, just to like yeah. relax and connect and have those candid authentic conversations yeah. I think are going to be huge yeah the people um, and that's why I mean it's been fun I will say it's been very fun to have a business partner yeah because Aaron and I have our own businesses um, you've had yours 10 years mm-hmm. I've had mine 15 and we're mm-hmm. the sole owners yeah mm-hmm. and there's a lot of cool things about being the sole <laughs> owner and there's a lot of sucky things yeah, <laughs> yeah. because yeah. there's nobody else to share the pain yeah. <laughs> or, like the or whatever and your spouse like, doesn't get it yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah. Yes. no yes. no, yes. no that's and, exactly and right. so it has been that's been a really kind of um uh, thing to me that I, I mean I think I expected it but it's been more than I expected just to be mm-hmm. able to be like oh my god I have a 50-50 partner in this that like we can make decisions together and all this mm-hmm. stuff but we're also kind of a really good yin and yang I think because yeah. um, you know Erin's Aaron has so much from her power players um, days and lots of the wellness and mental health yeah. and mm-hmm. kind of that aspect of her and what she's and just just in what she does every day and mentoring yeah. young women. Like, she knows so much about that. I have a lot on the business side and just, like, the entrepreneur side of all the, you know, I'm in Rotary and yeah. Chamber and all this stuff. So we've kind of married that yeah. together, which has been really awesome. Yeah. Um, so she's having totally different conversations than I am, mm-hmm. um, and we're going to bring those fully in together and, and integrate that into the program. So, like, a lot of the conversa- conversations I'm having are, you know, um, Investing 101 for women, or um, how to how to uh, how to move from a mid-level leader to right. a, 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 a C-suite, the next you know yeah. the next yeah. level C-suite. I mean that those type of things. So it's going to be a good mix I because think it's we'll, be we awesome. will have <laughs> something like that is full on how to take care of your mental yeah. wellness, um, mental health to you know investing. Yeah. Yeah, how to raise money to start how a business, to, yeah. you know? Yeah, raising capital for your, right. for your new business. I think one of the things I'm most excited about this is purely just informational, of course, and then built with the connections and just the space that's dedicated to women. I cannot wait to flash forward five or ten years and see yeah. what comes out of this. Mm-hmm. Sure. Not from Natalie or Or just, like, to see just what from, like, what's come built. Out. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. who, you know, maybe somebody connects with someone gets a job for yeah. this and mm-hmm. ends up growing and flourishing in that sure. position or maybe somebody launches a business you yeah. know with the support of the nest and how, i think that how are you going to track all of that like I, in I my mind know. i'm like okay i want to write the case study a, yes. how are you going to track it how are you going to know when it comes no, time to do that's it that's actually a very good question we'll have to add that to the lots of managers. surveying <laughs> and surveying and crm platforms so but, um, <laughs> the outcome of for 
the members at the yeah. nest is what I am so yeah. excited to yeah. see. Yeah, when and you're that, excited about something and you feel like you, you're like you can see the success in it, yes. and you're just like, we just gotta get it, we gotta build yes. it, and it will come. Yes. One yes. thing that I think what you were talking about, like having a partner. It's so mm -hmm. great, and I love the fact that Emily is my partner in, in, in yeah. this podcast. And I'm so impulsive for myself, and and it is so nice to have something to just like bounce back and talk things yes. over. Yes, to kind of calm. I mean, for me, I'm like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, it's just so nice to talk. Like, I, I don't have a partner at the salon, but it's yeah. like. You want to have, instead of jumping into mm -hmm. an instant reaction, it's like I need to talk to somebody about what I'm going to talk yes. about, like how I'm going to say this. So to me, those type of things are great to, to in a partner or mm -hmm. in someone you can trust in business. To like, well, how would you handle this scenario? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot well, of scenarios so that are uncomfortable. Absolutely, because like, you know, my business is completely different from Aaron's business, mm -hmm. like our day-to-day -day businesses. But, you know, something I learned from Aaron all the time is truly just how to, to, to manage employees and things like that because she has way more than I do. I yeah. mean, she's got a, a churn of in and out of younger well, women yeah, who like, are working in retail. Young people, it's mean, just super yeah, interesting to me to learn from, like, what can I learn from a completely different industry yeah. and scenario that I can apply to a PR and content marketing agent. Sure. You know, yeah. I mean, we have different employees, but like I've, I've, I've oh, already yeah. learned. I'm like, mm -hmm. even how she's, we're interviewing for our general manager right now. Mm -hmm. And even the questions she asked versus the questions I asked, it's super interesting to me. And isn't that the beauty and of I'll that? take it and That's use it exactly. at the dolly. I mean, no, no, sure. no. I mean, I think but that, that, that is that a is great example of, of the beauty yeah. of, what the nest should be yeah. and we hope it will be. That is exactly right. Because when you're getting to really talk and connect with somebody that um, is like-minded in, in a lot of things but com but different. And that, that is a key, you know, we've had a lot of questions about, well, like, how are you going to make this a diverse community? Yeah. Diverse in lots of respects. I was going to ask, rest. are men allowed at all? Well, they are for meetings. <laughs> yes, so well, if our members want to Yes. We have a conference room. Yes, yes. we have a conference room, room. and also yes. members are going to host clients. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we would never tell someone they could not. <laughs> no men allowed. Well, and you know there are we have to, we have to be really realistic. Got there's to. there's discrimination lawsuits. Yeah, I was going to say you have a men's uh, bathroom and, and a women's well, bathroom. Well, and there's like, also <laughs> I think that that is a very fluid to topic right now everybody. too. Yeah, I was about well, to say. Yeah, say that's that's what I was going to say. Everybody. What if it's non-binary? Like there's so many questions when you say female. At Ely's, we have. We already have all the questions. I'm sure you have. We have, and restrooms at Ely's are totally open. Like I don't care what's going on there. Just like. Put the toilet seat down, like leave it clean. Mm -hmm. Wash you your know, hands. Like, wash your hands. We got wash one your request in um, But I think that, you know, gender is That's such an interesting, we're such, at such an yeah. interesting intersection with yeah. gender right now. And I think that yeah. Natalie, I know Natalie and I both feel that, you know, while we have our viewpoints as women, there are many other people who that's a much more fluid aspect of their life that mm -hmm. we can learn and grow from. Sure. So, and we definitely want the nest to be an inclusive space. And yeah. whether that means that Raymond, uh -huh. who, uh -huh. for those of you that don't know Raymond, uh -huh. he's my like long-term employee, long-term best he's friend. Right. He's fabulous. Um, if you see Raymond, like to, to know Raymond is celebrate. Raymond. And if he wants That's to come true. hang out at the nest, we will all be better for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so we say the nest was built for women. Like there is no question about that. Like yeah, we yeah. are building it for yeah. women, but that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be somebody that sure. has different parts. Yeah. I want well, to come you, see what, explore their feminine side. You said it really well. So. Like if you connect to, to a feminine side or to you know, anything feminine, then... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's men's That's, I mean, that's fine. Women. The like, nest is for you. So, so, founding members, you mentioned that before, and it's mm -hmm. on your website. Mm -hmm. What does that entail, and what does that mean? Yeah. Do you want to take it? Okay. No. <laughs> so, what, how we view the founding members is women that maybe they're a little bit further along in their careers. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they have a little bit more disposable income. And some other women that are going to be members of the nest and are women who see the vision of the nest and say I want to be a part of building this community like yeah. I want to be um, maybe maybe you can't spend a lot of time at the nest even though you have full all access 
you know, membership to the nest with the founding membership. But you just say, I see the vision. I see the all the good that can come from the nest. And I want to put up a little bit more money to help this happen for other women. And I also, it's also a group of women that we look at as nest mentors. Okay. Um, not necessarily for Natalie or I, but for other nest members. These are the women we're going to call on to say, hey, we want to do a program on how to finance your business. And we know you're the woman to talk to. Yeah. Can you come in and speak on that? Mm-hmm. Like, you two. Yeah. Hey, guys, can you all talk about starting a podcast? Can you, Amy, can you be on a panel? No, well, like, yeah. Oh, no. starting your own business. You're already yeah. on our hit list. You so. <laughs> already are, so let's be prepared for that. But, you know, these are our go-to women of, yeah. like, hey, we want you to be more than just an S member. Sure. And we're not saying we're signing you up for sure, you know sure. every little thing. But mm-hmm. it's kind of a list of women that we look at. We're like, hey, they've done something really impressive yeah. with their career. We want you to be a part of building this. Yeah. And if well, you I see mean, the vision and somebody like come that on this journey with us. Could possibly find people that they could hire through this. You know totally. what I mean? That I mean I'm looking at that too. Well, sure. I know Natalie mentioned I since yeah. I own Ely's, you know, yeah. we I'm always looking for new exciting talent and yeah. I think this could be a great place for that and also mm-hmm. Natalie and I are always cooking up other ideas so who <laughs> yeah. knows what, what businesses will start in the next That's couple true. years right? <laughs> <laughs> sit at the nest and then you'll come up with some more yes. so how yes. did y'all come up with the name the nest that was all Erin yeah so I love it. Yeah. thank you mm-hmm. um so for some reason, when we first talked about it, she was like, "It's called the nest." It's called the nest. I was like, "Okay." Like, I, would, I would love to say that I had this like. I'm like, do you have a logo already? <laughs> I do not. No, Natalie took care of that. Yeah. Natalie took. Oh, well, Kara. Yeah. Um, so I would love to say that I had this dream and this premonition that just like came to me and descended off me, upon me one night, but it didn't. Um, I think you know. I think I'm sure the wing. I followed the wing for years. I'm mm-hmm. sure that played into it. Yeah. But really, when I started thinking about okay, a space for women, I think for a long time, communities of women tried to emulate communities of men, and they thought that that's how you look strong is to look like a man, you know, the power suits, the very manly, like toned down. Look at the women of the 80s who were really groundbreaking. I mean, they were doing amazing things for for women in the workforce, but they really stepped into like, okay, I need to kind of dress more like a man and I need to act like a man. And I have always had the firm belief that being feminine is synonymous with strength. So, and maybe it's because I'm in women's clothing and (laughs) I'm around women all the time and I see how incredibly capable and strong and amazing they are. And so when I was thinking of names, I was like, God, there's not more creation and strength than in a nest because it's like an incubator, right? We're all, it's where so much creation and innovation happens in this nest. And it was funny, my dad (laughs) told Natalie this, it's like, not our tagline now, but I thought it was really sweet. <laughs> my dad has been my biggest cheerleader. He has been such a mentor for me my entire life. And when I would talk to him about the nest, yeah. before I even knew Natalie, he um, he was like, you know what? He's like, I think your tagline should be, where your big ideas take flight. <laughs> and I was like, I thought it was so cute. It's not our tagline. But oh, really. Did you work so at Coffee Inn somewhere? It's somewhere. Yeah, it's I'm it's sure so if somebody looked on the website right now, that, ta- that <laughs> coffee's it, weaved in because somewhere. Probably, because the nest probably. allows for so many of the yes. kind of like derivatives. Yes, find your flaws. Yeah. Yeah. We use that. I mean, yeah. I wrote down, like, the space names. It's, like, yeah. perfect. It's, like, the perch. The quill. I mean, I like, I yeah. just, so, and explain to me. The quill, the roof. Yeah, like, explain the all of the spaces. Yeah. Well, first um, yeah. of all, our amazing designer, Jill White, came up with those names oh, for us. It was yeah. one of the selling That's points. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Our little boo totally. We were like, these are amazing. You know, and we, yeah. of course, we could not hire her and then use those. That yeah. would be right. really crappy. <laughs> She wouldn't be the first to have done yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> we would not be that way. No, no, no. no. Yeah, that that's all the receiving end. Women yeah. don't do that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we we definitely, um, you know, and we had already figured, told Jill the kind of the spaces that we yeah. wanted in in the space uh, that we're renting, and um, and she came up with those names. But so the the different spaces. Uh, the canopy is the conference room, okay. so it'll be a 
great conference room that people can book and use mm -hmm. if they want to have a large meeting. I mean, it'll, like it's, it's 15 or something. Uh, like is that. it more than that? Oh, sorry, it'll fit more, more than yeah. that. Is it a I don't even know. <laughs> separate space? It's a completely separate space with a completely with a door separate entrance. Yeah. yeah, and mm -hmm. it's got it the entrance and it closes off, but mm -hmm. it'll be our daily quiet space mm -hmm. too. So mm -hmm. we're going to have a space where it's like no talking on cell phones, no mm -hmm. chit chat. Like if you really yeah. want to come during you the day. You got to hunker down to work. You can yeah. go into the mm -hmm. canopy. That's really good because if you really think about I like to talk you could have used that during COVID. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Yeah. But I mean, you, you get a space sometimes and it's like this communal space with women and, and you're like wanting to get work done. If there's a lot of talking, yeah. you could be like, oh, well, you heard get what they said. Let's start talking. Yeah. 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 Totally. Space. Exactly. We also even have, um, it's, hasn't arrived yet but it's on order it's it's like a phone booth basically mm -hmm. and it's okay. a, it's it's one of those completely quiet booths so if you need to go in there and take a zoom call or a call or whatever right. you do need complete privacy and quiet mm -hmm. pop into that booth you're good so mm -hmm. so there'll be some good quiet spaces because that's definitely that was one of I mm -hmm. mean those are the things that came out of the marketing research yeah it's questions with, with that we immediately had from people that we can tell they're more even interested probably in the co-working side of it than the community yeah. and then there's vice versa everybody's yeah. looking at it with different lenses but those people who are like looking to truly get some work done they're like what what about quiet spaces <laughs> yeah because in co-working spaces that's a huge problem definitely mm -hmm. so yeah. so we've got that kind of mm -hmm. worked out then the roost is just the kitchen area yeah. you know coffee bar tea bar all that stuff in there and um, the quill is the front mm -hmm. area so when you come into the space, there'll be some really cool um, high top tables where mm -hmm. almost like at a coffee shop yeah. where you can just mm -hmm. get your laptop up and you know you're you're perched up on a on a bar stool situation. And then there's a bunch of comfy seating. Yeah. Um, there's these really cool. Everybody's gonna die over them because we're dying over them. <laughs> um, we're just calling them the huts right now. Yeah, we're like our little huts. <laughs> those they, you'll see them in the renderings and the uh -huh. pictures, but. Um, they're, they just are so cute. They look yeah. like little huts, and yeah. you can get a four person. You know, so yeah. if, you're, if you've got a meeting, you can easily get two or four people in there. So, so. what are the hours going to be like? So what is everybody get a key, or I mean, how does that? Oh, we're yeah. just talking about this. <laughs> so. Just talking about this. <laughs> so we have general working hours. What we're yeah. starting with, um, but it's one of those things that's going to evolve based mm -hmm. off who our clients are and yeah. what their needs are, because really. Here at The Nest, our sole purpose is to make sure we're meeting the needs of sure. our members. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're starting out where we're going to have Monday through Friday open hours. It's going to be fully manned. So we will have a staff member there to like help you, serve you. And this really isn't, you know, we will have some part-time employees, of course, mm -hmm. but our Nest management is very hands-on. It isn't just like someone that we've just hired to throw in a manager role. Mm -hmm. These are women that have had large careers or are very well versed in like startups who mm -hmm. can talk about lots of different things with you regarding a business or regarding right. a promotion or an interview or whatever it is. Right. So mm -hmm. um, there will be someone there on site with you Monday and through Friday. that can help connect our yes. members. So yes. get to know our members and, 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 and say, oh, okay, Amy, you told me this the other day. You totally should meet Emily. Right. Or sure. right. you've got so, to have yeah. this girl on your you podcast. Know. She's yeah. incredible. Yeah. So y'all are still looking interview. for that person. Yeah. Okay. We have had yeah. interviews. We're in interviews yeah. right now. And yeah. I'm really, I'm really excited. We've had some about awesome people. We've had some people. awesome women. Say. Like, awesome. I have loved it. I mean, we've been I've loved so excited. It. We, like, mm -hmm. these women are awesome. And I'm yeah. just like, and what really, I think, really got me excited, I told my husband this, was after every interview, or not every interview, but a lot of them were like, you know, even if I don't get this job, like I love what y'all are doing, I'm joining. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's so nice. That was really it's cool. It's so yeah. nice, mm -hmm. but also I was like, these women are incredible. Yeah. And I hope I do get to see them again. You yeah. know, like I hope I do get to connect with them. But about the hours, um, Monday through Friday, probably like eight to, now some nights we have eight to six, some nights we have eight to five. Mm -hmm. Later in the week, we're doing happy hours. Yeah, eight, uh, eight to eight or yeah. nine. Mm -hmm. That'll be when like the a longer there, happy hour we'll have some evening. Events. Um, and then we'll, we'll have special have, events. So maybe it's maybe on a day that's only open sure. at six, then we yeah. have a special event at night. Yeah, that yeah. goes till eight. And yeah. so then for the weekend access for all access members, like pretty much if they say, hey, we want access on the weekends, we're going to get them set up with like sure. a keypad and all yeah. that so yeah. they can get in. Like um, and then we'll do sure. weekend pop ups. So like weekend workshops or like maybe like a weekend restorative yoga class, yeah. stuff yeah. like that will be filtered in. But our general hours are going to be Monday through Friday. And then if you're an all access member, like, 
Yeah. We're going to yeah. let you in whenever you want to come in. Yeah. Um, so notice that you guys have um, a special for September. It's like no joining fee. Yeah. And the option to do month to month. Yes. Right? That's all yes. on your website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, is that only that's only through September? Yep, mm -hmm. we've okay. only got it slated for September, um, and the reason why is we know like there you're looking at renderings of a space from oh, our sure, interior sure. design team, and a lot of, we've had so many questions because it is such a new concept to Little Rock about mm -hmm. what it actually is, and if you're not familiar with other concepts like this, well, and I think people think of the um, Innovation Hub or yeah. um, yes. what's yes. the other place in downtown. Tech Center? Tech, tech, yeah. tech Park. Tech Park. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what's different besides just being women? I mean, like. Community, the community programming, okay. I think, is a huge for, for the Nest. And I think it's going to be an integral part of your membership as a Nest member. Um, and I'm not saying anything negative about those spaces. I oh, think yeah. they serve an amazing purpose, mm -hmm. and they've got some yeah. great things happening. It's just different yeah, than different. what we're building. Yeah. Um, so, And I think the feel is different. We really we took the market the research gonna be different, um, for, sure. for yeah. what our potential members wanted, and it's going to feel... They said Very they want it to be warm mm -hmm. and um, a little bit home-like. Sure. They want it elevated from that, but like warm and comfortable and what women want. Like yeah, this not is cold like a and techie. Yeah, this yeah. is not it, nothing in that surprised us. Mm -hmm. Like as far as like their wants of the physical space, mm -hmm. it's how we envisioned it because right. we're women and we know what we would want yeah. to be in. Mm -hmm. And so I'm telling you, like Jill and her team. We gave her that marketing research and we said it has to be this and yeah. this is all we have a vision and these people confirmed it yeah that's <laughs> and awesome. so yeah. you go and do your thing and she's doing her thing that's will awesome. you guys have a cap on membership or is yes. it like okay yeah we will um, and we you know of course we are super inclusive so it's mm -hmm. first come first serve mm -hmm. and that's where the September promotion comes in is saying mm -hmm. hey we know you're joining something that you haven't seen, you can't walk into yet. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yes. And so we're saying this is risk free. There's no joining fee. It does charge you, I think, the first month, but we are not going to count any months towards you, of course, until we open our doors. Yeah. And then you can, you know, I think it's a 14 day or 30 day notice for yeah. cancellation. So you can just say, hey, this isn't working for me. This doesn't really fit my lifestyle. And it's interesting. Risk -free. I'm so. We went looking all over the city for a space. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we had everything from this being huge <laughs> and having just rental space that we rent out to entrepreneur women. I mean, we have big visions yeah, to mm -hmm. down to what we have to even smaller than what we have now. But like, we've looked at everything, but we felt that this was something that we could do without taking out, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I you loans. know, like not getting other investors, not yeah. taking out crazy yeah, right. loans, doing what we could do, but still have a good amount of people to make it something, to mm -hmm. make it truly a good networking community. And so, I mean, honestly, our vision is like, I mean, our hope is like that it is very successful. And maybe we say, oh, oh gosh, yeah. we need a West Little Rock one now. Oh, yeah. We need a Conway one or whatever. I, know. Know. I was going to ask, are you going to franchise? <laughs> it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love that building. I mean, I see it at, um, every time I go. I work out at Spark Fit. Yeah, found I that see building. It she all was like, time. "What about it?" <laughs> I was so shocked when I'm looking at the renderings on your website mm -hmm. of the out. I didn't know there was an outdoor space. Yeah, yeah, and it's going to be cool. really cool. It's it's really fun. cool. It's still definitely. You will want to right come now. out there and yeah. have a drink and be. I mean, truly, like you're going to want to be like, meet me at the Nest. Meet me. Yeah. At, now we all say, meet me at whatever. For a drink, like meet me at the nest, and yeah, so and I'm just like gonna a, bring your own bottle in, or <laughs> yes, we we right are good. So. And so, how often will you two be there? That's Ooh, a great question. Yeah. <laughs> we have gotten that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think a lot. I, I yeah. a lot. I yeah. mean, are you gonna be together? Or <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably a lot. A lot. Talk to you um, all Natalie and I are not above doing what we're doing right now. Just sitting and being like, let's just have some drinks, girl. Yes. I, I'm. I meet people out. for drinks all yeah. the time, so yeah. I'm like. I w well, we are meeting at the Nest now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I think the last meeting we had, it was over beer and meatballs at Reduno. <laughs> <laughs> we have done that several times. Yeah, and I mean, we'll still go to Reduno's because we love them. We but love yeah. but no, we'll, we'll meet at the Nest. And I mean, it's a great question. We, we know that we're going to need to be there a lot at the beginning, too. But... Mm -hmm. But in reality, too, we have both. We both have big cars, businesses yeah. that we run that take a lot of our time. Right. So I mean, I I foresee 
I may not be there a lot during the day, or I may yeah. come, I may say, I will make it a point to say, I'm going to work from the nest on this day, mm -hmm. like that morning. Yeah. But evening stuff and that, you know, programming, yeah, we're, we're going to be I there. I think programming so, will be there quite a bit. Yeah, because I'm like, that's, that's the love yeah. of my life. Like, yeah. I love programming, and... I have we both we both have so many ideas, yeah. but I definitely know that I'll be there for that stuff because I'm like that's my jam. Like, yeah, I wanted I want to be a part of that. You know, what myself. If you, what if you have an, a member or members that are like, okay, oh my God, I don't have childcare, but I've got to come to the nest and work. What is going to be the issue with childcare and bringing kids? Oh up gosh, there? that's such a good Women. question. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know, because I mean. I'm, I mean, a, I'm a mom of a 10 month yeah, old. So we're not doing it right now. But we, yeah, we, it, don't space, we don't have the space. We don't have the space, physical but, space for it. Because we've talked, we talked yeah, about we it. Talked we about have it. talked to other owners who are actually doing in person childcare. The only thing is they have like 10,000 square foot spaces. Yeah, so they sure. have the space to yeah. do it. But it has not been off of our radar. Yeah, it's um, definitely a thing that we've had a lot of discussions about. Yeah. This, well, this first iteration of it's not going to have that. Unfortunately, but, you know. not having children of my own. When somebody brings their child in, they don't watch it Super as much. Super disruptive. They don't. Yeah. They don't watch the kid. Sorry, mom. Yeah. No, I'm I mean, yeah. it's true. Like they'll they'll be comfortable. Very like, true. well, I'm in a building. My child's not going to leave the building, so I'm not going to watch them in here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. So we are it would right just now. Put a, it would put a different vibe on yeah. it. But at the same time, like we're moms, so we yeah. totally get it. Um, um, but I guess I think I look at it. I think 21 and up is totally. kind of I think I get yeah. it. I have to be careful sure, when people sure, are sure. bringing in alcohol, yeah. which yeah, obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to be cracking open a beer at noon <laughs> on a Wednesday, <laughs> but I mean, maybe. Me. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge, and I might you know what? But you know, here's the thing, and I'm like, you know what? I love freelance life. Exactly. Totally. You know, I love the 1836 Club, and I've been I've many, been there, many yeah. meetings there, but I'm tired of meeting at the 1836 Club. I yeah. love you guys. <laughs> love all the people that are part and that I meet there all the time. But you know what? I can't wait to say. Yeah, you know awesome. what? I'll see you at the nest. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's, I think that's a different that's, environment. I think you're going to go there more than you think you're going to go. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? like, well, and I love, I have always, when I first started Ely's, I didn't have an office. You know, you yeah. used to come to my house. Yeah, I came to your house. <laughs> shop, I mean, literally, I had no office space. Yeah. So I would go to coffee shops and all that. And, and I when still, I started, I was coffee shops. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, in my mind, like, Sometimes feel I like I have to buy 10 cups of Starbucks yeah. coffee. Totally. Because yeah, because you've sat there all day. <laughs> there um, all day. <laughs> but, you know, I think that I will probably get in those things where I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go to the nest. I can set yeah. them out there. Oh, I can get I work know done. I will. Yeah. We just bought, like, a really nice coffee maker that does, like, it's like one of those super espresso machines, but it's <laughs> also, like, super automatic, so you don't have to do anything. You just, like, so touch a button. So, have you guys made an office for you guys there? Because, I mean, honestly, sometimes... Like, just when I'm at the salon, if I don't get away from, if I'm not in the, like, if I'm not there, people, are, I mean, you just can't get anything done. Like, if I have 30 minutes, I'm like, I'm going to get for. on there. That's what the canopy's ah. for. There's no chit-chat in the canopy. You can just go. That's, oh. like, your signal to people, like, so hey, you don't, you I'm in workspace. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no talking that. in the yeah. canopy. It's, like, the quiet area. Yeah. Ah, but then the quilt, definitely. the like big area that you see a lot of the pictures of with the huts okay. and the couches and the tall mm -hmm. tops and all that, that's going to be our general, that's our main mm -hmm. space. But then mm -hmm. the canopy is like our, like if you okay. see somebody like in there, you, I'm not going to go approach Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you're, gonna getting, wait till you're getting the, work done when you're <laughs> yeah. in there. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So will you guys have avail, um, available any equipment or anything that people can use? I mean, I know you have Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. yeah, and high speed, high speed. So and I love the fact sure. that you can have your mail delivered if you're. Yes, so we are going to do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can still so like, let's say you're a startup business and you're yeah. like, hey, I want to have my mail sent here to the nest. Mm -hmm. Great, do it. We're going to have yeah. staff That's on great. site so they can sort that mail. Lockers, yeah. um, for yeah, those I wish y'all had been here members. six years ago. I know, I know. <laughs> like, but you know what mm -hmm. is? It is really interesting, Emily, because I. When we talk about this, like, I think of women like you. Mm -hmm. I really do. Like, that you have these freelance businesses. I mean, you are hustling in all mm -hmm. different directions, but you don't have a physical space. Yeah. Um, we have multiple physical spaces. It, it, I just don't ever want to be in any one right, of them at any one Right. Time. You have multiple <laughs> physical spaces, but, like, to mm -hmm. have one that you just yeah. know you can perch in and, and yeah. get work done. and, and Or you, as a stop in between all the <laughs> yes. other things. That's, yeah. that's so it. that's, that's yeah, me. That's I mean, it. I have a full office. I have a nice office for mm -hmm. me personally. But just what you said, mm -hmm. 
the door is constantly yeah. open and people are coming in all the time. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes I'm often between mm -hmm. meetings and like, I don't want to go all the way into the office, go up the region's building, right. da, sure. da, da. Oh, yeah. like to be able to stop in somewhere, which is the coffee shop thing. Right. Yeah. But then I truly do feel guilt about sitting for a long time in a coffee shop and <laughs> drinking that one latte. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I need to get <laughs> I know, no, Now that might just be me personally, but I would love to be able to have a space like the nest where I know if I've got two and a half hours between mm -hmm. these meetings, I don't want to go all the way into the office, mm -hmm. do that. I can just sit there and get some work done. There's coffee, tea, yeah. water, whatever I need. And be in a space that's undisturbed. Because that's the other thing totally. about the coffee shop is like every time I've worked in a coffee shop, oh. Because we know yes. everybody in Little Rock. Yes. I'm yes. like, does it not look like I'm working here? <laughs> yeah. Also, no. I'm not friendly. Go away. Uh, yes. Can I just be <laughs> in the space where I can That's work? <laughs> well, I think it's a confidence <laughs> thing, too. That's true. Because, uh, <laughs> like, you want to feel what makes like it look like I want to talk to you. I mean, I'm you're right. so dead. I'm That's when you got to have the That's big headphones on. That's when you get, like, big headphones on. A hoodie on. Which, actually, that was something that I talked about that I have on our list is noise-canceling headphones for people, like, when they want to work in the quill, but they, you know what I mean? Hat that says "Don't talk to me." I even thought okay, about that. Is funny. I did think about a little flag, like for Casa Bonita. Do you remember? Oh that? yes. Yeah. Okay, so my yeah, grandfather, flag up my grandfather was the general manager there, and you put a flag <laughs> up when you needed the wait staff. Yeah. I was like, what if we had a flag that said like. I do think not. Do it. It's like a little pink flag, yeah. and it was do like, not, do not disturb. disturb. Yeah, yeah. And that's you know, true. you're like, hey, I'm in work mode. Like, I don't love come it. up and approach. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, because but one thing I love. You know, I we have some amazing coffee shops here. Like mm. I love River City Coffee. Mm. I, oh, love totally Mugs, I love Mugs. I love Nexus. Like I have been, been to all of them. All of them. them. <laughs> yeah. But one thing that I think that we underestimate, especially as when we're just starting out, or yeah. maybe we're for freelancer or whatever, is when you're saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna meet with this person. Hey, let's meet at a coffee shop." It doesn't feel like your turf. Yeah. Oh yeah. For and sure. there, let me just say this, ladies. From going from selling out of the trunk of my car at 26 <laughs> years old to now running a much larger business, having my own office space, having multiple stores, meeting, like having someone meet you on your turf yeah, is huge for your confidence. So when you're mm -hmm. like, when you're a member at the Nest and you're like, hey, I'm going to meet this client here. I'm going to meet this person I'm negotiating yeah. with. And you go, I want to invite you to be my yeah, guest exactly. at the oh, nest. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that is huge. Like right. that is. You should so be in sales huge. for the nest. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, right? Yeah, that I is. Mean, that is. That is. You're really like, true. I want to invite you to be my guest at the nest. We'll have our meeting here, and we'll nobody's just... listening. Like at the next table, exactly. they're not like. Yeah. They're so. Yeah. They're so into their own stuff. Mm -hmm. So in some in your memberships, you at allow guest member like guest yes. passes, We do, right? yep. So mm -hmm. we actually so there's it's really nice. So if you're a member, mm -hmm. um, even if you're a ninety nine dollar a month member and you get four day passes, let's say you're coming in using one of your day passes, uh -huh. Amy, and you're like, oh, I need to host Emily here because we need to have a meeting about the podcast. Totally free as long as she's not there over two hours. Okay. If she's over two hours, we're going to say, hey, Amy, do you mind buying her a guest pass for right, the day? Right, right, like, right. if she's going to be there yeah, all day yeah. working. So, how do y'all, how do you guys, is it like a sign in? How do you know? Yeah. There'll be a check in okay. station. Yep. yep. So, it'll be a, uh, totally iPad based. We use Mind Body. A lot of people mm -hmm. are familiar with that. I used to use Mind Body. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it, it's just, easy. Oh, it's yeah. so great. Easy. We yeah. use Arrival, so you come check in. Mm -hmm. um, we do ask that, you know, you're going to check in guest, register a guest with our on site manager. Um, and then y'all will enjoy your meeting and mm -hmm. really, you know, it's not like anyone's going to be hovering over yeah. you. It's not like anyone's going to come up with like this is a stopwatch like, and be like, Amy, get out of here. We're yeah. just going to trust that people do the right thing. Yeah. We're going to trust yeah, that you know, I'm pretty sure me. that people will. I they mean, will. Like, they you, will. You they get will. it eventually. We're all better. grown yeah. ass women, right? <laughs> like, we're going to do the right thing. You hope. We should like bite our tongue right now. This is going to happen. I mean, sometimes you find people that you thought were that way and they're not. Right? That's the story my life every day. I mean, really, I we're going to tell these war stories at the next day. This will be great. I know. Oh my gosh. Maybe Younger I'll, women yeah. listening to these war stories. Don't you up. wish that you could just shake people and like, listen to what I have learned in my past. Yes. <laughs> every day. Go listen to everything I'm saying and do what you I'm You know saying. what's awesome about that too though? Like you're like, I want to share that stuff and there, there are a lot of women. And then we've talked to, you know, the 20 something, you know, mm -hmm. the 25 year old who's yeah. like, I just, I'm so excited about this. Like, I, I can't wait to learn from women like you and mm -hmm. people who've been through it and people. So, I mean, just think about that dynamic yeah. happening every day there. Like, that's what I'm just so excited about. And the, the other thing is that 
I definitely, definitely think that those connections, those people having those conversations, like we can change what's happening in our city. Yeah. With the conversations that go on there. And I'm not saying that <laughs> these guys haven't gotten some things done, but they haven't gotten everything done. Right. Yeah. And I just feel like we, yeah, get, we need this. It's gonna, <laughs> yeah, we we, get, need we this. can get it done. It's going to be a different We can do it. We can. Um, okay, so I was just thinking you said like the 25 year old, and I was thinking, yeah, that would make a, like a really good like Christmas gift. Are y'all going to be doing like gift memberships oh, yes, and all that kind of stuff? Yes, we are. We actually yeah, just we, had this conversation. Definitely. We yeah. just, we've had, that's like, another question. For, for Christmas. Yes. 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 Totally. Yes. We've, we've had people who, or like, how can I sponsor somebody? Like, oh, sponsor oh, how can great. I make sure that this young person that's in my oh. life or this young person that I know mm -hmm. can be a part of this? She can't afford it at this point. Like, I want to make sure. So it's pretty awesome. I mean, like, yeah. w that will come out and, and that great. will enough. be in addition to <gasps> some graduation that, gift. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's true. Yes. Like, I mean, we've I mean, had a lot gift. of people ask us about that, which mm -hmm. I also think is amazing and fabulous yeah. that yeah. women would say that and say there's this young person and yeah. there's this young woman in my life that has to be there this would be so good for her if people have ideas if they have questions you're open if they we are open so we we have an open house on the september 16th yep yeah. yeah. september oh, 16th it's at bernice gardens in soma yeah Five to um, so it's like down the street from where the nest um mm -hmm. is and um it's a great time to just come by have a drink on us network meet meet people who are interested in the nest and then ask us questions like yeah, pepper us right. with the questions because yeah that is what everybody's doing and i say bring it on and keep keep asking us but also don't just ask questions like we have had people who are close to us and then random people that we don't know say you should do this and we're like so great idea. idea or let's mm -hmm. let's talk about Ideas this or open. hey we've heard this yeah. several times how can we make this work i mean you know, I'll, I'll give kudos to ourselves here. Like, we are the type of people that are open to that, and we're not shutting out. I mean, we have changed a couple things oh, yeah. on the memberships, yeah. mm -hmm. more than a couple yeah. things, based on what people are saying. Hey, really, if you if you thought about this, it would be great. Or right. we have. So mm -hmm. this is for our community. I mean, yeah. it is for the women here. It is. And yeah. so if you've got ideas bring it on well and I think you're exactly right we are so open and one thing that I think I would want to say is that if there are women out there and I know that there are because I've been her that feels like something is missing in her mm -hmm. life like she doesn't know what it is maybe it's a career change maybe she wants to start a business maybe she just wants to connect more with other women and mm -hmm. learn about herself and learn about personal mm -hmm. growth you are not alone. I yeah. think that especially coming out of COVID, I mean, the amazing. last two years we've had, like the, the conversations mm -hmm. I'm having with women are that everyone is feeling anxious. Everyone doesn't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, is that you're not alone. There is a <laughs> yeah. space for you and we want you there. Yeah. We want you there to connect with you, to learn with you, to grow with you because a rising tide lifts all boats. And we need you. Yeah. We need you. And, yeah. and the other thing, uh, one point I don't think that mm -hmm. we touched on specifically is that, you know, talk about COVID. Like, that that was another reason that we said, okay, now is the time to do this. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many businesses in Little Rock, not just across the country, but in Little Rock, who have said, you're working from home. Oh, yeah. Maybe forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And or, or you're working from home and you'll have one day in the office. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, like, I have, I have, my, my youngest sister is working from home yeah. from, from now. She works for a large company. I mean, I don't think she signed up to work from home yeah. for, for, you know, it's, her it's life. Fun, it's fun for a minute, but. I, it's fun for right. a Right. Yeah. So, yeah. and it's fine, but it's, right. You need a, you need a beat to yeah. get out of that too. And so we have definitely already had people that, who signed up that are working from home. Mm -hmm maybe forever they love their jobs so they're not i mean yeah but they're like i gotta have somewhere else outside of this house yeah um, that is a that mm -hmm. is a thing and that is happening right now and and it's there's more to come with that and think <laughs> yeah. about like also there are definitely m many households <laughs> sure. right now where both 
yeah, yeah, spouses yeah. or are partners are, are working from yeah. the same house. And yeah, you, yeah. Need, you need a little bit yeah. of room It's here. not, <laughs> don't take any offense to any of it. No. You just, everyone needs their space and everyone time. Everyone needs you know? space. So, um, the other thing that I would say, just as we're winding down here, um, just to kind of give a little bit more emphasis to, because this is another one that we've had a lot of good, awesome questions about, truly is the, the diversity of the nest. And we are two white women mm -hmm. who, who are very similar in our backgrounds and the whatever. Yeah. And I'm telling you that we have, there are some amazing women that are women of color, they're, they're older women, younger women, um, all, all the things that are different from us yeah. that we have said, you, ha you have to be a part of this. Like we yeah. have to make this where we are serving women of all, all different paths and, and different yeah. races and different ages and different socioeconomic. Mm -hmm. I mean, giving, um, you know, I think so much of Annabeth Gorman and, and, and everybody at the Women's Foundation and what they're doing. And we've had awesome chats with, with Annabeth and Carol Wilkins and saying, hey, what, what you guys are doing for women of color and younger women and trying to, and even older women who may have had a business for six or seven years and then, you know, the Women's Foundation is helping them take it to the next level. We're right. like, we want to be a part of that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we are saying, whatever it takes, you've got to be a part of the nest. So I just, that's a big thing yeah. for Erin and I, and we've talked to a lot of people who I think know us personally and know our hearts and are mm -hmm. like, we know you're going to do the right thing here, and we know, and we will help you do it. It is on uh, Daisy Bates, right? The yes. dress is Daisy Bates. It's right, I mean, I... Right been, off South yeah. Main. So like, Reduno, Spark Fit, like... Right there. And how it's fun, right too, like if there's like a block party, you totally. have Oh, like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> totally. And totally. I want to tell you guys, that Soma District is freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah it is. Like, the, the, I mean, there are so many things happening there. Yeah. The, yeah everybody seems very supportive of oh each other. Oh, my God. They are. The mer other merchants, we've already yes. been, they have a monthly call. We've already been on one. They're amazing. Community like, yeah. Bakery is a member, a corporate member. A corporate member. Of the I love Community Bakery. They're so kind they're and all, so supportive. They, yes. They, they, even early on, they were very um, supportive to us as well. Like, so they awesome. They sent us treats. And, I mean, yeah. they always... Good. Like people, are good people, so. and so they're on board as a corporate member. So many others in M2 that gallery is amazing. Yes. I mean, Justin just took mm -hmm. over Electric Ghost. I was about I to mean, say Electric Ghost. All awesome. those changes is really cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, Anita with uh, with Essie Purse Museum. Yeah, I mean, there are just so many things happening in Soma. So we're 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 thrilled. Totally yeah. thrilled about being. That's Soma. so exciting. That's great. So, okay, well, let's cheers to cheers. your success. Cheers. I mean, cheers. Thanks, girls. Thank you for Thanks coming. for having us oh. on. Having us to y'all's clubhouse next I time know. to our clubhouse. Yes, right? absolutely. I mean,